Hello everyone, welcome to the Green Man channel, hope you're doing good and well. So for today's album review, I'm reviewing the 14th studio album from Swedish melodic death metal titans In Flames and their release Foregone, which came out yesterday via Nuclear Blast and the album is 12 tracks and it's 46 minutes in length. In In Flames, currently we have Anders Frieden on vocals and Bjorn Gelott on lead guitar, those two uh, are the longest standing band members in In Flames. And you've also got Bryce Paul on bass, Tanner Wayne on drums and new to the band for this album, Chris Broderick on rhythm guitar, who you might know, for instance, from his stint in Megadeth. And um, yeah, so I, you know, heard a lot of excitement going into this album. A lot of people seem to have been really hyped for this latest release from In Flames. And that's probably because the singles have harked back to an older sound. They've got sort of those heavier guitar tones, you know, those lower, heavier guitar tones, I think, that, uh, you know, remind me of, Certainly some of their albums from the 2000s, perhaps perhaps slightly less their albums of the 90s still, but there's definitely a return to the sound of albums such as Reroute to Remain, um, Come Clarity, uh, I would say as well. I, I certainly am reminded of, of some of those styles in this album. It's a bit quicker, you know, it's a bit faster, it's a bit more urgent, and they do less of the sort of emotional, more mellow stuff that they were visiting in the sort of 2010s with Anders' vocal stylings. And there's still one or two hints of that in this album, I think. You know, you you, you may um, dread that if you're just a die-hard, old-school fan of In Flames. Um, and you do get one or two moments of that, I think, but they're, they're much sparser than they have been uh, in more recent albums. So this is much more of something akin to me, like Reroute to Remain, which you'll probably be pleased to hear if you enjoyed albums like that from the early 2000s or the middle 2000s as well. Um, so yeah, I I enjoyed this. I thought this was a good album, very, very good album. Um, and I think the introduction of Chris Broderick has, has maybe brought in a little bit of impetus here. I don't know. Um, that's just the theory I have. I feel like it's certainly given um, you know, those rhythms and it's kind of a slightly harder, heavier sound than in some of the other recent In Flames outputs. Now, I'm not entirely, I don't want to go off on too much of a tangent, but I did actually enjoy um, the 2011 album, I think, Sounds of a Playground Fading. I've always kind of liked that album from In Flames. Um, but yeah, I mean, that aside, I, I think generally this is probably their best album going back um, to perhaps come clarity for me. It, it has been an enjoyable listen. So let's go into the tracks a bit more. So the intro track was actually an acoustic introduction, acoustic guitar introduction, uh, a little bit reminiscent of some of the tracks they would do on albums like Jester Race and Horacle, which was, you know, a bit of a tease. I think they were deliberately doing that to make uh, old school in flames think, oh, you know, we're getting some old, old stuff here, are we? And uh, then they go into Another really good track, um, State of the Decay, um, sorry, State of Slow Decay, which was one of the singles. And, uh, you know, just good riffing on here, but is, again, reminiscent of that old school uh, Swedish Melodest sound. Um, uh, I, I did almost feel like they maybe there's even room for them to do more in that song, but it, it was short, it was pretty snappy, and it was a, a really good song. Um, Meet Your Maker, uh, I loved that song a lot, um, I thought it was just well constructed, uh, the chorus moment was, there's a good transition between the sort of uh, build up to the chorus and the chorus moment I really enjoyed in this song, um, and even though you get Anders Cleans and a lot of people you know don't particularly like his clean singing sometimes I think, uh, I, I just feel like on this album generally his cleans are uh, that bit better than some of his more recent albums where he, he does the clean singing. I thought it's, on this album it's pretty good. And it actually is, it, it actually makes this song more effective, I think. I actually like the use of the clean vocals in the chorus for this particular song, Make Your Maker. And uh, yeah, I, I am, um, you know, definitely vibing more with, with the sort of come clarity sound on songs like this, State of Slow Decay, Meet Your Maker. Foregone parts one and two I want to talk about next. I, I liked those two parts. Um, the first part being a slightly heavier track. The second part for me was bringing in a little bit more of a melodic. Um, but both good songs. Again, the songwriting on this album so far uh, to this point, I think, was really, really good. Uh, it feels like that some thought and, um, you know, real process in, in, and thinking about the musicianship um, behind the songs in this album. Uh, I think that's really good here as well. Um, the, the song I didn't particularly like and, and, and still am struggling with a bit uh, after a few listens is Pure Light of Mind, um, which, you know, 
more mellow in flames here. So, so this is more like the sort of song you might find on a Battles or a Siren Charms. Um, and, but for me, it just kind of was flat. It was flat. It, it didn't do enough. You can do a ballad and do a big ballad, just do a big ballad. This, this just didn't really do it for me. I think it may have been a tribute to, to someone reading the lyrics online, but Pure Light of Mind, um, I, I just felt it was a flat point on the album. And the album's not super long. I don't think it needed a break like that in the middle. Um, so, yeah, for me, uh, Pure Light of Mind, I, I, I don't think I'd have had that on the album personally, but, but some people might enjoy that one. But, but yeah, that one wasn't for me. Where the album really got back into its swing was with The Great Deceiver, with those great, you know, again, the harmonised guitar work, um, the transition into those uh, melodic leads to the chorus, and Anders sounds great in this song, he's just doing harsh vocals, he sounds ferocious as ever, a really good song. And um, the, other, the next track I really liked was In The Dark as well, another heavy song with uh, really, really great elevations to really lift the key parts of, of the song as well. So, um, overall, um, you know, actually read a couple of tracks towards the end, I didn't quite like as much, they were okay though, but, uh, you know, I wasn't quite as keen on those as well, I think like uh, a dialogue in B-flat minor was okay, there was good guitar soloing in that track, but other than that, wasn't so big on that song. Um, but yeah, let's, let's all moving on to some of my final thoughts of this In Flames release. I think it's a really, it's a very good album, um, the one or two moments on the album wasn't as keen on. Um, I felt there were still a couple of tracks that, that they could have done a little more with as well. It felt like this album had just a slight, and I mean only a slight bit of unfulfilled potential. Um, so, you know, overall, I do think it's their best work for a while. Um, I'm feeling something like a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10 at the moment with this. Um, I think it's closer to an 8, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 uh, for now. Uh, as my score for this release from In Flames. I did think it was a really good album. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of this 14th album from In Flames? Did it sort of wet your whistle? Did you enjoy um, Did you enjoy the sort of sounds that, that this, this album delivered? And do you think it's their best since something like Cam Clarity? Or would you rather say it's their best since, I don't know, something more recent? Uh, do let me know anyway and otherwise for me hope you enjoyed the album review um, later on tonight we've got um, my horror movies tier list those are horror films I've watched for the first time and sticking into tears so uh, join me for that there's lots of recent horror films there so if you're a horror fan you may want to stop by for, for that premiere later on tonight otherwise for me take care everybody until then bye for now